In this video, we're going to talk about how to allocate joint costs by using the relative sales method. So let's say that we have a dairy farm and we produce raw milk and that costs us $300,000. And then we have a separation process that costs $100,000, but it yields two joint products. It yields whole milk and it yields some cream. Okay, so these are our joint products and this is the split off point. Okay, so all the costs up here, the 300,000 and the 100,000, these are joint costs. They're common costs, right? So both the whole milk and the cream, they have these, these common costs here that we can't really, really have a good way to separate. So we're going to use this relative sales method in order to allocate these costs to each of these products. So how are we going to do that? What is this method? Well, we're basically going to take the sales value at this point in time, at the split off point, we're going to have the sales value of the whole milk with the sales value of the cream. So that's going to give us total sales value, and this is estimated, at $600,000. And then we could take, for the cream, for example, we could take the 360000 and we divide that by $600,000 and that's going to give us 60%. Now, with the whole milk, we take 240,000 and then we divide that by the 600,000. So we're taking the sales value specific to the product, that yields 40%. So basically we're saying, look, if we add up the sales value for each of these joint products and then we take the percentage that each product uh, relative to the in the total 600,000, we'd have 40% of the relative sales value is for the whole milk and then 60% is for the cream. And so what are we going to do? We're going to use these percentages, the 40% and the 60% to allocate these joint costs, okay? And so now we have 400,000 in joint costs. And the reason is I just take the 300,000 and add the 100,000. So when we're asking how much in joint costs is going to go to the whole milk, what we're going to do is we're just going to take 40% we're going to take 40% of 400,000. So we got 40% times 400,000. That's going to be $160,000. So we're going to have 160,000 is the joint the amount of this 400,000 in joint costs that is allocated to the whole milk, right? Now, for the cream, we're going to do a similar thing. We're just going to take that 60%. So we're going to take 60% we're going to multiply that by the total amount of joint costs that need to be allocated, 400000 right? And then that is going to yield $240,000. Now, be careful. So going forward, after the split-off point, you, you really want to be careful. You don't want to be using allocated joint costs to do any of the decision-making after the split-off point. Right, because these joint costs and the allocations and so forth are really only useful in determining whether the product or whether the process is, is profitable up until here, right? But after the split off point, let's say, for, for example, we have some kind of sell or process further uh, decision to make, which I have a video on that as well. Uh, basically, we don't want to be thinking about the allocation of these joint costs because at that point, if we're deciding whether to process something further, the joint costs have already been incurred and they shouldn't be uh, reflecting our decision making. But in terms of, you might be thinking, well, then why are we even allocating these joint costs here? What What is the point of calculating this 160000 for whole milk and the 240000 for the cream? Well, the reason that we allocate the joint costs, we might have to calculate cost of goods sold, or maybe there's a lawsuit that requires us to actually you know, cost out these products, or maybe we have some kind of government contract where it's specified that we, we delineate what the cost is of, of each of these individual products.